I am uh, Riccardo Pozzobone, I'm a researcher at the Department of Geoscience at the University of Padova and my expertise is about remote sensing of planetary bodies, especially rocky bodies such as Moon and Mars. And in particular, I, I focus, uh, among other things, on lava tubes, characterization and detection on, uh, on such planetary surfaces. And uh, in this study, we have, for the first time, uh, demonstrated uh, with a direct observation that uh, uh, huge caves exist below the surface of the Moon. Um, we have observed directly with uh, an interferometric radar with a synthetic aperture uh, from uh, the uh, Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter mission a specific location on the Moon, which is the uh, Mare Tranquillitatis Pit, which is a, a big collapse pit. You see it here on the image under different uh, um, illumination conditions. Uh, you clearly see the bottom with some, uh, some boulders and the, the walls of such, uh, such collapse, which is uh, 100 meters in diameter and more or less 60-80 meters of depth. And uh, from such images, uh, uh, scientists uh, through the years have uh, uh, converged to, uh, to the hypothesis that there is some overhangs below the roof of this, uh, of this uh, collapse. But uh, there was no quantification on how big is, uh, is the cave below, how could, it, could its extension be. So we used this uh, observation from this uh, radar uh, orbiting around the Moon since uh, 2008, which is uh, observing the surface uh, in an uh, oblique angle. And uh, thanks to this uh, oblique uh, uh, point of view, we were able to peek into the hole and uh, uh, the scattering of the, of the radar uh, signal bouncing on the floor and on the roof of the cave and uh, returning the signal back led us to identify a possible continuation of the void uh, below the surface of the Moon, up to more than 175 meters of depth, which is a lot. Um, of course, these results were uh, quite outstanding to us, so we needed to validate such results. And because of that, we needed to sort of recreate uh, a model of how the geometry of such cave, of such conduit, could be. And to do that, we relied uh, on the surface of the Moon, reconstructed by stereo photogrammetry, in, and uh, reconstructed a synthetic geometry of the cave, so the vertical pit, and also a possible extension below the surface. Um, we created many, many models, and uh, with the ray tracing simulator, basically, we, uh, we were modifying the geometry of the model, such as the simulator, simulating the radar beam, uh, peeking into the surface uh, uh, through this uh, aperture and bouncing back uh, was matching the real observed data on the surface of the Moon. And so by modifying uh, uh, with many iterations such geometry, we arrived to a couple of different solutions, uh, among which the, the one which is uh, uh, geologically plausible is uh, the presence of a big cave conduit, which uh, has an extension up to 175 meters, but could be more, with a slope of more or less 45 degrees, so a big pile of debris with a lot of rocks scattered below. We have no information about how wide it is. We know that its width could be at least 55, 60 meters, but could be up to hundreds of meters. We don't know that. We know that there are a big now, big cave conduits below the surface of the Moon. We need more uh, tailored made uh, instruments, so more uh, high resolution radars and uh, new missions with orbits that uh, intersect this pit around different angles of observation to confirm whether this is a tube, which is uh, hypothesized under the surface of the Moon, that there are lava tubes. We are in a lunar maria, so a big basaltic uh, uh, basin field of, of lavas and basaltic flows, uh, which uh, could uh, also led, lead to the formation of such uh, underground tubes that are trained and leave these this void tunnels. So we need more observation in different angles with the same uh, observation geometry, so a bit, a bit tilted, in order to see whether the void is just in one direction or in multiple directions, so whether it is a huge cave or it has a preferential orientation, which could be a lava tube. But in line of principle, this is consistent with the existence of lava tubes below the surface of the Moon. And for the first time, we could uh, 
peak uh, below the surface uh, in a direct way uh, to a greater depth than uh, previous, previously observed. There's a lot of interest nowadays uh, uh, among these structures and among all the space agencies because they are very big. This, this hole is 100 meters wide and uh, the cave could be even larger, so it means that potentially it could host some uh, outpost. Uh, we could stock some material. Uh, we could use that uh, as a reservoir for uh, for um, anything that needs to be protected by the harsh conditions of the lunar surface. So protected from radiation, protected from micrometeorites, protected from uh, uh, the big thermal excursion that you have between night and day and light and shadow on the moon. The caves are naturally protected environment. Uh, and if they are so big and if they are stable as they look like on the moon, where you see just these collapses uh, with a very large underlying void. Potentially they could be exploited for humans, outposts, for storage and uh, also for performing high detail study uh, at the depth of the surface of the moon so we can have a look uh, at the older history of our satellite. So there's both an exploration and logistic um, importance and significance, but also a very high scientific potential.